Hey guys, so I've got something to show you. Uh, it's this. It's a tiny little Bluetooth module. Uh, it's called a JYMCU, but most people know it as an H6, Z, HC-06. Uh, it's a little serial Bluetooth module. It's, a, it's amazing. I bought it probably about four months ago and haven't got around to using it. It cost me about four or five pounds from eBay. I say four or five because it's such a long time ago, I don't remember, but they're pretty cheap. Uh, and they're really easy to integrate with Arduino. There are a few little caveats to that. Uh, you need to drop the voltage down on the RX line on this. So I'll show you how to do that. Uh, and you need to use the software serial library. Or you can kick it out through the normal uh, serial ports on your... Serial pins, I think I mean. Uh, on your Arduino. So I'll show you how to, uh, to wire this thing up. So here is the, uh, the top view of the Bluetooth module. Um, mine's already on a breakout board, but you can get these where they're not on a breakout board and you just need to find the pins on the side here, which correspond to RXTX 3.3 volt, 3 .3 volts and ground. Um, and you can get that in the data sheet, but a lot of them come on these breakout boards. Um, at the bottom here you've got VCC, that's 3.3 volts. These boards do say they work up to 5 volts, but I don't trust that too much, so I've just put it into 3.3 volts to be on the safe side. You've got ground there, you've got TX and RX. Now remember these devices work independently of uh, the Arduino, so when it, uh, when it says RX, really that's the transmitting one, so this is receiving that and you're pairing it with another device, so it's like the receiving end on that device. So uh, that goes to TX on the Arduino, and TX on the Bluetooth module goes to RX on the Arduino. Um, now because these pins on uh, the Bluetooth module are not 5 volt tolerant, and the Arduino pins are, keep, are generally on an Uno or a Leonardo, they're kicking out 5 volts. We need to use a voltage divider in order to drop that down to roughly 3.3 volts. So all I've done here is added a uh, 50 ohm resistor and a 100 ohm resistor. You can use any as long as the, the lowest one is here and the highest one is there and then roughly half. I say roughly, I think you can get up to around 3.6 volts and you'll be fine, but, uh, and then it needs to go to ground here. So that's how you wire it up. Right, so I've got it all set up here. Here's my tablet, it's got Bluetooth on it. Bluetooth's already been enabled. And we've got the module here. It's flashing red, which means it's ready to pair with a device. So if I load up, blue term. I've already paired it with this tablet and we need to go into connect to a device and it shows up as Linvor on here. Some of them show up as other things but if you only have one device on you'll know. So we'll just connect to that one. Now because this is already powered uh, in order for me to connect to it I just need to reset the Arduino so I can get the uh, get the new text showing up. So if I just press reset so it says, welcome to the wonderful world of Bluetooth. Sending a 1 will turn on the LED. Sending a 0 will turn off the LED. Uh, and sending a 3 will flash the LED. 4 will kick out a lot of data from the LDR. So I've got a light dependent resistor just there. I've got an LED just there. So if I switch to the numbers portion here, so I just press 1, it turns the LED on. 2 will turn it off. 3 will flash it a bunch of times. And 4 will kick out a lot of voltage data that I can change over here, so let's just do that again. So that's basically it. It's really, really simple. You can write your own application if you want to. However, I'm just using it for testing, so I'm just going to use Blue Term.